On this episode of Andy's Autosport Short, we're talking about mass airflow sensors. A mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air going into the engine and adds the appropriate amount of fuel based on how much air is going in. Now, how it works is there is a filament wire that goes through a sample tube. Now, what that does is the uh, ECU puts 5 volts, so these are 5 volt sensors. So, it says that neutral is 2.5 volts, so it puts enough energy through there. Now, what happens is, as the air flows through the sensor and touches that filament, the more air that goes through there, the more that filament cools down and changes the resistance. That tells the ECU how much fuel to add. Around the mid-80s, when I still had a full head of hair, uh, most vehicles were a speed density style fuel injection system. Now what this is, is uh, the computers had a basic set of maps in there, and the uh, sensors on the vehicle, a MAP sensor, which stands for Manifold Absolute Pressure, uh, an oxygen sensor, uh, air temperature sensor, would determine where the vehicle was running in the particular map and then add the appropriate fuel. Now, after that, we came into the mass air world. Now, mass air sensors were a great, great uh, addition to a fuel injection system because what this does is it basically allows for on-the-fly uh, changing of things. So, uh, for example, if you had a uh, a speed density car back in the 80s, like an 80s model Mustang, which is what I used to drive and, and still have a couple of. Um, if you had a speed density style car, if you put a camshaft in it, it would constantly hunt at idle. It would, go, it would rev up and down and rev up and down. Any major modifications that you made to the vehicle would cause it to do that. With the introduction of the mass air meter, all that stopped because now the computer has another way to interpret how much air is going through there and adds the appropriate amount of fuel. Now, there are basically three types of mass airflow sensors. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're going to call them all mass airflow sensors. However, they can also be called a MAF. So, know that those terms are interchangeable. You have basically the type that bolts into the factory uh, piping of your intercooler or, or of your uh, intake manifold. You have a type that works in line, and then you have a type that bolts directly to the air box. Now, on our WRX here, we, this it has the type of sensor that actually bolts into the factory um, uh, intake tubing. Now, that sensor is going to look something like this. Now, what this is, is this actually has an aftermarket kit on it from Cobb Performance. It comes with this silicone tube, this little sample tube here, and then the mass airflow sensor actually bolts directly into the, fa into the aftermarket piece, and then the filter bolts onto it. Now, if you have a Chevrolet truck or some of the old Ford trucks, they have a sensor that looks like this. Now, this is a mass airflow sensor, and what it does is it'll actually bolt to the factory air box, and usually it'll have some sort of a drop-in filter over here, and then this will go to the air intake tube. Now, on uh, like early model Mustangs, they had an inline mass airflow meter, and that's what this looks like. This right here uh, would go to one side. Uh, this, in fact, it has a flow direction uh, right here, so you know you're putting it in the right direction. So basically, the airflow would flow from the air box right into the intake manifold and go through this sample tube, and that's, again, how it interprets how much fuel to add to the engine. A question we get all the time is, if I buy a cold air kit or a short ram kit that replaces my factory mass air meter, do I have to buy a mass air meter or does it come with one? The answer is no, it does not come with one, but the cold air kits or the short ram kits take this into account. They'll give you a spot where you can put your uh, sample tube or your mass airflow sensor into the intake manifold or make a provision for your factory one to bolt on. Another question we get all the time is, when should I look at replacing my factory mass air meter with a larger one or upgrading to a performance version? Well, that answer is real simple. Anytime the mass air meter becomes the limiting factor in horsepower, that's when you should go ahead and replace it. Let's say, for example, you build an all-out race motor. Your factory engine had a 60 millimeter throttle body with a 58 millimeter mass air meter. Now you have an 80 millimeter throttle body uh, and you're making a ton more horsepower. That is the point when you look at buying an aftermarket mass air meter. So now you know what a mass air meter is and when it's time to upgrade from your factory mass air meter to a high performance version. Check out the link below to see what we have available for your vehicle. Choose your year, make, and model, and remember that only the relevant parts will come up in your search. We hope you've learned something today, and we'll see you on another Andy's Auto Sports Short. I'll tell you what, after playing with this Subaru, it makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs>